Chris Fetterspiel, co-founder CEO over here at Blackthorn. This is day one of 100. Uh, today, we have Blackthorn compliance file scanning. So in this example, this is a new case. This works on any object in your Salesforce environment. Uh, but I'm going to plug in a credit card number. Not part of this demo, just makes for a better demo. We're going to hit save to simulate creating a new case. Now, to further simulate, what I'm going to do is upload some files. Now, you can imagine these coming in from an email or from a portal or whatever. But one of these has a credit card number in the file. One of them has a credit card number in the PNG. And one has a credit card number in a Word doc. So what I'm doing is uploading these. And what this is doing is a call out to two different APIs that we use in order to detect uh, certain patterns. Now these are asynchronous callouts, uh, otherwise this thing would sit here forever, uh, meaning that they're sent to the API, the record saved, and soon after we can refresh and we can see what happens. So you'll see that the response from two of these has come back so far, and let's give it another refresh. Now we have three. So what I have my settings set to do right now is to notify us via chatter. You can also set to auto delete the attachment or you can have it show up in the report. But what this has done is it's now shown us that we've detected the patterns that we put in. So for example, this has a message of PII being shown. It could be you know credit card number, or PCI based uh, information, et cetera. But this has now let us know that it's found uh, patterns inside of our application that we're trying to see. So the way that this works is in our uh, manage app here. You can see cases is turned up, turned on and our detection pattern. This is using one called credit card that we have on for full masking. Thanks.